Independent labels generated over $6 billion in sales in 2016, accounting for 38% of the global recorded music market, according to a new report from Worldwide Independent Network Win, a key distinction of the study, which was compiled by Mark Mulligan of Media Research using data from 660 respondents, including labels and distributors across 26 countries is that its findings are based on rights ownership, not distribution as per IFPI's annual global music report. Win, an umbrella organization for various independent label bodies around the world, calls the report the most comprehensive assessment of the global independent record label sector ever compiled. It is important when making sense of the global market for independent music that we continue to use ownership rather than distribution as the method of calculation, said Win CEO Alison Winheim in a statement accompanying the market study. She goes on today that when major labels include revenues derived from distribution of independently owned rights into their own assessments of market share distorts the true value of the independent market and creates a false picture of the amazing growth and vitality of our sector. According to Wynn, around $1.2 billion of independent label revenue was distributed by majors or major-owned distributors in 2016, which Wynn says should be attributed to the independent sector. This is especially important in the streaming ages market share is used by digital music companies like Apple, Google and Spotify when negotiating royalty rates, says the indie organization. Key findings from its research include a 6.9% increase in independent labels global sales rising to $6 billion and a 0.9% rise in independent market share, climbing to 38.4%. In terms of individual markets, the U.S. saw the biggest swing in favor of independence with market share growing by 1.7% to 37%. In South Korea, independents now account for 89% of the local music market, while Japan saw the sector slide 0.3% to just over 63% of the market. In contrast, independents represent just 15% of the market in Spain. Many European markets, including the UK and Germany, saw independent market share fall slightly, despite overall revenue growth. The report also states that in virtually every country, indie labels continue to record higher market share in streaming than they do in physical formats, with independent label streaming revenues growing by 80% in 2016, to total $2.1 billion up from $1.2 billion the previous year. It speaks volumes for the tenacity, passion and entrepreneurship of independent labels, and the public's desire for musical diversity, that even in these times of global dominance by major corporations, almost four out of every ten dollars spent on music goes to the independent sector, said Beggars Group founder and Win Vice President Martin Mills in a statement. It is truly gratifying to see both U.S. and global independent market share increase again, added Richard James Burgess, fellow Win Vice President and CEO of indie organization A2IM. We must continue to strive for a level playing field where the best releases rise to the top and where the digital services that respect copyright do not suffer unfair competition from those that cooped our rights, he went on to say, warning that independent labels and representatives must remain vigilant. We are fighting our way out of a deep hole created by copyright abusers, he continued. And we have a long climb to get revenues for creators and producers back to where they should be.